Right, decided it'd be about time I did a, a walk around on my 2A because I haven't, don't think I've done a video of this since last year when it was a truck cab and it wasn't MOT'd, it was just putting around the road or I think it was MOT'd at the last of the end at the end of the last video but uh, it's changed quite a lot since then so it's thought it'd be a, bit, be a good time to uh, do a bit of an update walk around type thing guess I'll start at the front this is about logical. Um, another front discovery axle, so disc brakes. 300 TDI, 24 spine axle. Uh, the calipers, both sides, are fitted upside down. Those outside there, so that the brake lines actually reach. And I didn't have any metal. I didn't have enough solid line left to do the loop up from the bottom to the top, so I had to put them on upside down for now. Uh, it does mean that the brake lines are the right length, you can get full drop on the suspension and the lines are still slack and um, full drop is quite a lot because parabolics with program PS3000 shocks uh, putting the axle on, I think you just saw that side, horrible bit of welding, don't look at that needs redoing this side, not the best welding again but oh well, saddles are on, they're solid they survived the sledgehammer test before they went on so. Happy enough, I suppose. Hello, Pip. Uh, another advantage to the Discovery Axle, as well as the disc brakes and the 354 to 1 diffs, is it has a steering damper on this side that goes from the diff to the steering arm, so I didn't need to do any fabrication for that. It was just on already. It's also got one ton shackles. Helps with the flex a bit. Also, while I'm here, the exhaust is a bit close to the bulkhead support now, actually. That's interesting, that needs addressing. Uh, made up of Discovery bits of pipe down there in the outrigger. Rear silent, well, the silencer is the rear one from a Discovery, and the rest of the exhaust is the stack from Massey Ferguson tractor. I think it's the 3075. Those are no tractors. Um, <clears throat> also, what's changed? Wheels and tyres. I think the last video I had short wheelbase rims and firestones on it. It's now got long wheelbase rims and security extra grips. Obviously very loud on the road, quite well, not scary but interesting in the wet, especially with the with the TDI, it's um, a bit slidey sometimes if you want to be. But I love them. They're, well, I wouldn't say they're better than the BFGs because you can struggle to do better than BFGs, but I had BFGs on it for a while. But they made the steering quite heavy, they were a 265. Also had Goodrich All Terrains on it. Uh, they were 235 on wolf rims. They made the steering quite heavy as well. I like cross plies. You can actually steer it, keep it in a straight line sort of job. The spare is a Goodyear extra grip. It's not the best on tread, but oh well, <coughs> it'll work. Engine wise, TDI, it's a 200. Lots of people seem to do the 200. Mine is a Discovery 200, although it looks like a Defender 200. It's got 19J turbo on it, the old late 80s turbo diesel. No intercooler, it's a little turbo. Only runs £9 of boost, so it comes up quite nice and easy. Didn't want it to be too strong and destroy the gearbox instantly, because I do tend to, well, I'm 19, I do tend to drive reasonably quick. Uh, radiator, also 200 TDI Discovery, mounted with my own plates to put it where I wanted it so I could use Discovery top hose bottom hose obviously I had to make the expansion tank also Discovery just tacked onto the plate there it's not the best a bit of wobble in it but oh well seems to work um, air system air box from Discovery cable tied onto the battery box I lifted the battery box three inches originally to clear the timing case on the Sherpa engine and cut the corner off it also clears the timing case on the Discovery engine even with the uh, tooler injector pump with the boost pin in it throttle linkage is um, that it's solid so you do get a bit of kangaroo going on but doesn't really matter to me too much the fuel lines as you can see are clear clear line so I can see if there's air in the system or if there's any bleeding to be done 
when I'm bleeding it you can see how if you finish bleeding like the filter or that filter like a CAV because instead of doing the discovery filter because you can get those nice and cheap these Lucas ones and I used to run veg oil so I was going through filters routinely should we say uh, there's no brake servo even though it's on disc brakes that's to be addressed at some point there's a P clip hanging down there actually that's not so good oh well uh, yeah it's a long wheel base master which seems to have made the pedal even firmer what well, I made it's had the long wheel base master in it for four or five years now and then disc, disco axles for a few months I think that's about it under the bonnet. <clears throat> Not really anything else. Dixie horns, they're a bit crap. <laughs> Don't think there's anything else really to say. No. Um, <clears throat> what else has changed? The roof it used to be a well, it was a hard top when I first bought it. I put a truck cab on it because I wanted visibility. Don't like the blind spots because I nearly took someone out on on the M5 down near Bristol in the traffic that was interesting learned about blind spots the hard, the hard way so safari roof for a nice bit of visibility I also dad's got station wagon grew up in station wagons I like them uh, yeah great visibility you can carry all sorts of shit brilliant and they don't get hot in the summer the safari roofs actually work which is a bit of a surprise um, part of the fun of the discovery axles because slightly immature, is even when you haven't been off-road, you do get a nice bit of splatter. Quite a lot of splatter. <laughs> even though not been anywhere near anything particularly um, muddy. Right, on the back, recovery drop. I've only got two-wheel drive, my front prop died seven or eight months ago, so I haven't done anything about that. So it's still only two-wheel drive. Um, yeah, remains of old stickers and things. You can see why it's called an ad. In the back, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's um, full of crap everywhere. It just is. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Go on to the back axle while I'm here. Also, 24 spline 300 TDI axle, disc brakes, do some welding to the diff, which is not good at all, and it still leaks, so I think I'm going to replace the pan on that. Springs on the back, it's got, well, it's got ES3000 Pro Comps as well, multi leafs, just because I do do a little bit of towing with it, I do live on a farm, it's nice to not put it on its arse every time you put a trailer on it. It's also got one ton shackles on the back. You can all the trailer electrics are interesting as well. Um, I also found the pro crump, the not pro crump, sorry, the parabolics to be too soft and it felt like it was falling over the whole time, especially when I driving. Um, what else? I suppose interior. It's interesting to say the least. It's well, the purple headlining. Everybody loves the purple headlining. The worst radio install ever, that means readdressing. But with those speakers, I'm not really that fussed, it's nice and loud. Uh, again, full of stuff. Bit of sound insulation. Self adhesive stuff with carpet. Convey that on the floor, seem to get proper mats on top of that. TDI, still got a crash box. Not the happiest crash box in the world, that has to be said. I think it's a suffix B to A box. So it's not the strongest in the world, so you know, front prop. And it leaks a bit. I should say, these leaks under here, they're not from mine. Well, that one under the red dip is. And there's a couple up front and under. Well, it's leaking from the timing case, but these are not from the Land Rover. They're from that, which needs a power steering ram changed. Um, other than that, oh, I've done bonnet since the last video, that's new. That was a deluxe bonnet I got for a tenner at an auto jumble. So, painted that. Aerosol cans and masking tape. I quite like it, it's a bit loud, but oh well. I'm a bit loud. 
right. Yeah, I think that's it.